Hello boys and girls, my name is White Rhino PSO, and today we are playing more Duskers. And uh, in the last video, I proved just how right the whole let's see how quickly I can mess things up phrase was by uh, losing two of my drones. So we have a couple new names on the crew. Uh, there's Robbie and Holly. Robbie's going to be our interface boy, and Holly is going to be towing and gathering. Actually, maybe I'm going to... Well, hold on. Let me put gather at the top. And then I will give tow to Robbie. Because if I lose my gatherer, I might still be able to find ways to get them back by towing. But if I lose a guy that has tow and gather, then I'm pretty much screwed. I'm just straight not able to... Uh, get that fixed. Um, proximity mine, teleport, more mines. I'm gonna give him stealth and a mine. Yeah. So the hope is I'm going to drop a mine. Well, wait a minute. Proximity mine would mess with even me. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll run with it for now, because I don't think I've really used mines at all yet. So it might be useful to pop stealth, open a door, and if there's something on the other side, maybe drop a mine and start backing off real quickly. <clears throat> uh, but for now, I've got seven propulsion fuel left, but I have enough jump fuel for six more jumps. So let me take a look at, can I look at a system? I visited three there, visited none there. All right, so I, I believe I'd be jumping in at at the par 2 medical B muteki I don't know what a muteki is exactly exactly government medical medical you have nine objects trading post salvage ooh you're under quarantine wasn't there an objective about quarantined ships? Um, no, just medical communications. Hmm. There's only one infestation type, too. I kind of want to try that one out. All right, Solaris Incognita. That's kind of an interesting name. All right, so I'm going to jump to the Incognita system because either I spend propulsion fuel to get to something else in Cetera, or I can just jump and now I've got five propulsion fuel on top of the seven for... Uh, work inside this system. There's a Stargate there. That is a space station. Uh, barge, private. There was an objective about space stations too. Yeah, molecular assemblers for the gray goo theory. All right, I think what I'm gonna do is jump to Bemposta Station and see what's going on there. There's only one type of infestation. Uh, pardon that sound. I actually forgot to close down Discord before I started recording. Um, so I'm going to jump to Bemposta, and then depending on how that goes, I might, uh, I might go to the Stargate and see about a different universe. I'm pretty sure that's how I made it from Dexter to Cetera. 
Uh, but otherwise, I might go over to the Odelius government ship with a quarantine, which I need to... I'm going to put on one of my quarantine bypasses just so I don't forget. <clears throat> so, uh, drones should be good. I'm just going to remember what each of them are doing. And then uh, let's board this sucker. <clears throat> All right. Uh, inconclusive scan, one infestation, medium integrity with 212 volatile on the age. It's the Bemposta Space Station B, communications relay, commercial data banks, and no communications found that are uncorrupted, which sucks. All right, we've got scrap and we've got a generator spot. More scrap. Ooh, and Jeremy. Um, so navigate three to room three. Robbie has an interesting uh, do your job sound. Navigate four to room two. Gather all. Uh, let me move Robbie over here. No info, please. Jeremy, what do you have on you? You have a new motion scanner. Nice. Uh, navigate three to room one. Navigate my generator to room two. <clears throat> Hold on. They're going to get stuck in the entryway. Generator is on. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Three. Turn off tow. Um, who is my motion scanner? It'd be Brendan. Uh, I think what I'm going to do instead is send the probe on through. That red interface in that room is busted. We have a working interface and some scrap. Um, once again, the probe is not being damaged, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's all hunky-dory, as they say. Who has my motion again? Brendan. Come on out, Brendan. We got some uh, motion to scan. Alright, there's something dangerous in six. But three and four are entirely safe. Alright, so what we're going to do is open up eleven... Navigate four to room four and gather all. Navigate, who's my interface? Three to room four. And then interface, what do you tell me? Survey, all right, so we have a whole lot of rooms. None of them appear to be another generator. Hold on, A8. All right, so room six is now safe because whatever it is that was in there, I did blow out the airlock. Where's my probe? D23, D11, A1. So now there should be nothing evil in six. There is a vent. <clears throat> the the uh, vent being there. Oh, here we go. Remote room eight. Oh, holy shit. Sorry about that. Um, D24. All 
Another broken interface. Something is in either room 10 or room 5 because door 14 would not close even though I had it set to close. Another interface in 10. Um, so remote R8, remote R13. No, that's not. 13 does not have a generator spot. That is an interface spot. All right, so uh, D17. I'm going to send him back into room 7. And then from room 7 into room 12. All right, we've got another generator there. So remote R8 to remote R12. All right, we've got a few more doors to mess with. Um, send them into 17. Another broken interface. Oh, wait a minute. Shit, that's why the probe isn't taking damage. Because when I upgraded it, it turned it into a goddamn stealth probe. Alright. Um. Shit. Okay, where is my motion boy? He is one. Get around the corner. All right, seven is clear. Good. <clears throat> um, that also means that nine is clear. Three is clear. Close that for safety. Six was clear. I don't remember about eight. I wish I friggin' had that... Um, where the hell did four go? Oh, right in room four with me. Uh, I wish I still had that turret because I enjoyed setting up the turret right outside of a door and hoping it did its thing, but apparently it didn't in the last the last boarding. Um, so I want the stealth one to go into twelve. Who has gather? The stealth one. Damn it, no fuel at all in there. Um So seven is clear. So what I can do is pop open sixteen. And if all right, there's something bad in seven now. Uh, damn it, interface, that particular interface has no turret control. All right, so flag room seven as being evil. Um, so now what we want to do is, um, if I move the motion into six, I can find out if there's anything in five. Who's motion? Motion is one. Something bad's in five. Now five is clear. Okay. Uh, D24. 
10 is inconclusive. Where's my stealth boy? He is number four, which is near the bad room. Sugar. I wish I had not put motion scanner in there and then used it. Nav 1 to room 6. Um, motion D24, D14. So this way I can give it a quick scan. And if anything moves into five, then I can blow it out the airlock. Because I think if I just blow out airlock five and then close it again, it might destroy the interface that's in there. And I want to keep that interface on, or keep that interface working, <clears throat> so I can uh, potentially herd enemies into uh, into room nine and shoot them dead. So my stealth is room nine. Um, all right, that's what I'll do. Stealth goes real fast. But it charges up again real fast, too. Okay, so D14, stealth. Swear to God, if something jumps me when I just turn stealth off. Okay. Whose interface? Robbie is interface. So, D14, D24, 22, 11. Nav 3 to room 10. Close all them up. Move Holly out the way. Uh, remote R8. Remote. No, wait a minute. What am I turning off to turn R8 on? Uh, 12. Remote R8. Interface. Tell me you have turret control. Shit. I have lost my actual overlay video signal. So that interface does not have turret control. Oh, come on. I know there is another interface in a nearby room. Alright. Main, uh, restored. Okay. So, 13 may be bad. So, navigate 3 to R5. Close up 14. And you are our stealth boy. Well, girl, I guess. Um, so, D stealth, D17. Alright, there appears to be nothing evil about this room. So, stealth off. D14, nav 3, sorry, 3 to R13. Uh, remote R8, remote R12. 
And for safety, let's close all the doors. Interface. Tell me you have turret control. Son of a bitch. Um, you do not have turret control. Open up 17. Nav 3 back to room 10. And I'm gonna do the same thing over again. I'm going to uh, stealth field and r m open 32. That's a robot. Okay, so flag R12. There is a bad man in 12. I don't know. Wait a minute, wait a minute. 14, 17, 24, navigate 1 to R13. So it's going to turn off the motion, but it's going to, I'm going to bring, what's your name, Brendan, over to 13, turn on the motion scan, and see All right, there's something definitely bad in 12. Let's see if we can herd it into 16. Come on, there we go. So now, D32. Well, you know what, nav 3 to R12. Unflag the room because it is now safe. Um, ship scan survey. All right. Uh, what did that say? Uh, room 11, 14, 9, and 12 in just under five minutes have a chance. 12 has a very high chance. So we move four into room 12, tell them to gather. Um, I think we're just going to get everybody out. Um, seven is bad. Shit, I don't know if I feel safe sending the probe into four. You know what, everybody... What's blocking who? You idiots. Alright, everybody out of the ship. Because I don't really... I checked nine, and that had no propulsion fuel anyway. I got no communications. And I'm going to take the chance to send the probe back. Th That's an unpleasant sound. Uh, come on, little probe. The faster you get back into the ship, the faster we can uh, get out of dodge. I wish I hadn't made that a stealth probe now. Because it was very nice to be able to use the po uh, pick. Who is the probe? Two. There we go. It was very useful to be able to uh, use the probe as a damage checker. Alright, I got four scrap, that's fine. I got a new drone with a new motion sensor. Uh, the interface on three has a 15, almost 16% 16 chance of breaking. Wait a minute, how did this happen? Like, I didn't get anything new. Uh, Leyland Molecular Assembler Maintenance and Guidelines, expected Per, a uh, part per me something. Uh, food replicators, medical support, and engineering. I don't know if that, that's class. So that seems like they were using molecular assemblers.
for food replication, but also for medical and engineering, which, I mean, is kind of understandable. I don't know about the food part, but, like, uh, we have things now that I can't think of the name that you can set it, a 3D printer, you can have it build things, though, I mean, right now it's mostly relegated to just, like, knickknacks that you put on your desk. Please ensure that you configure vessel scan to utilize the Holzhauer algorithm. Refer to section 4B. Any concerns or queries about the per part per million count values should be directed toward your Leyland liaison officer. And if I didn't mention it in the past, Leyland is one of the names of the Leyland Utah. No. Leyland is close to the names Wayland from. Uh, the Wayland Utani Corporation, that is a big part of the Alien franchise, as well as some of the Predator franchise, if you consider the Alien vs. Predator movies. Uh, GIL, ref uh, reference molecular assembler counts acquired, Holzhauer algorithm integrated, Grey Goo theory would posit an abnormally high quantity of molecular assemblers, scanning vessels with a large populace could confirm or deny this and is recommended. Scan all rooms on a class A or B space station. That's something I could probably do. But it looks like I am once again out of time for this video. I'm a little over time because that was a big station and it sucked. Um, so as always, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.